In the modular world, note sequencing and parameter changes are often performed with the same modules. Sequencers, also called stored voltage sources, hold a direct current value until another clock pulse is received, then stepping forward to the next set voltage. For pitch tracking, this is critical, as an alternating or variable current would make the pitch change midway through the note. Modules like the Make Noise Pressure Points or Rene, or the Sputnik 5 or 16 step voltage sources, can be routed to other parameters to generate step changes in value. One common use is to track the pitches being performed using the same sequence to control the filter. The result is key tracking of the filter. For instance, opening a low pass filter as notes play higher pitches, closing off the higher frequencies as the pitch goes lower. This technique is used to create looping parameter changes. While note sequences may be controlled by a quantized signal, other functions can be programmed to follow patterns as well. Things start to get especially interesting when these stepped modulation sources are of a different length than the note sequence. The layered combination of sequence lengths creates the impression of a much longer cycle of notes and modulation, which is key to avoiding stagnant, boring music. In Ableton, there are a few ways to achieve similar results. Of course, to create stepped modulation on any parameter, we can use automation or clip envelopes. By turning on draw mode, using the shortcut command B, the automation and clip envelopes will snap to the time divisions, creating stepped modulation. I prefer to do this with clip envelopes, accessible through the E show hide button in the clip options. Especially with MIDI clips, so much is possible through the clip envelopes. I'll start with a simple sequence playing a patch and operator. In the MIDI clip, I'll show my envelopes and create a couple of stepped envelopes to modulate the filter and the level of operator B. Now I'll change the lengths of the clip envelopes by clicking the linked button in the envelope settings. Notice the color of the envelope loop changes to orange. The length options appear, and this envelope is now disconnected from the length of the clip. I'll set the envelopes to have 14 and 15 step sequences, respectively, instead of the full 16 step sequence that the notes are following. And we should hear some differences between each repetition of the larger loop. There are plenty of other ways to explore this concept in Ableton, and to connect this functionality back to the modular system. How are you using Ableton and the modular together? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and sharing. As always, please like, follow, and subscribe. And remember, patch smarter.